The Electricity Maps app has always been focused on creating real-time hourly insights, but we've gotten a lot of requests over the years to produce something that's on a higher level and to answer some questions which currently we don't. One of them being the daily variability of a country. It can be hard to understand in the current version of the app whether what you're seeing is a typical day or just a very windy or sunny one. Secondly, seasonability is something that can impact the grid quite a bit due to weather and demand changes. Finally, evolution is something that a lot of our users have been asking for, to see the trends of decarbonizations over multiple years and see whether we're actually going down the right path. These are all requests that we try to gather into one feature that's simple and intuitive, as well as insightful for everyday users, as well as experts in the field. We call this feature the Storm View. I've pulled up the updated version of the app here, and as you see down on the left, we have changed the time navigator quite a bit. It now has four different modes, 24 hours, 30 days, 12 months, and 5 years. And each of these modes represents different time ranges that the users can uh, export the map with. So right now I'm on 24 hours, um, which shows the last 24 hour aggregates. One of the features we've added is that when you now drag the time slider, it will update the map colors and arrows accordingly. Um, we've added this feature to make it more easy to compare countries and to make the overview of the map a bit more engaging. If I go on to 30 days, we now see the last 30 days of daily aggregates. So if I, for example, go into Ireland now, um, Ireland is a country that has quite high amounts of uh, high, high capacity of wind. Um, and that also means that on windy days, uh, the carbon intensity is, is very low and on non-windy days, it's it can be very high, or it can be high at least. Um, this we see very clearly in this graph, where some days, we find a very windy day, in this, on May 25th, uh, there was 63% uh, renewable electricity in the grid, on the mix, um, whereas uh, just a few days afterwards, on May 28th, it's gone down to 10%. Um, so this is really an example where the daily variance is quite high for for a country uh, uh, such as uh, such as Ireland. If I go on to 12 months, then uh, investigate uh, Germany, uh, we can really see a seasonability here, where there is in the winter months, uh, from December to February, there's almost no solar, but there's a high amount of wind. And in the summer months, we see that there's less wind, but then uh, quite high amounts of solar. Um, and this is really uh, interesting because it shows very clearly that solar and wind complement each other quite well in the in the German mix. When there's not a lot of wind, uh, uh, luckily there's a, a lot of solar, um, and that allows them to maintain a sort of like a baseline of renewable energy. If I click on five years, um, and then we click on Spain, for example, uh, Spain is one example of a country that has decarbonized a lot of electricity production over the last five years. There are uh, many others. Uh, I just want to highlight Spain in particular as it's very visible here in the graphs of uh, why that is. As we can see, the coal uh, production goes from 15, uh, almost 16% uh, down to, uh, I can barely find it on the graph, uh, less than 2%. And um, if we go into carbon emissions, this graph shows uh, sort of the, the cause of emissions. So in 2017, 50% of all electricity related emissions came from coal, whereas in 2021, it's only 10%. Or it's gone down to 10%, which is still quite high compared to the fact that it's less than 2% of the mix. That's pretty much all the examples I want to show today. I've just handpicked a few examples which, which I personally think are cool, but there are so many more. So we invite you to, to take a look at the app and, and explore it. And if you find anything, please uh, please share it with us. We'd, we'd love to see them. Finally, I just want to say that we constantly work with the open source community to improve the app and make this, this data more accessible, uh, insightful and, and tangible for anyone. So thank you.